Welcome to AIMS India's online classes. Today from a science subject we are going to continue our lesson matter and materials. Okay children. So already we have completed some question and answers. So we will be uh, continuing with the rest of the question and answers in this session. Clear? Now 27th question. Which one of the following is a matter? Which one of the following is a matter? Okay, so here you have given four options children. So you have to identify which one is the matter. What is a matter? What is a matter which is made up of some molecules? No, which is made up of some molecules uh, and uh, which has got some tiny particles which we call it as molecules. No, and which is going to occupy some space and which is going to have some weight. Okay, in these four options which option is having that okay and the uh, uh, options are love emotion anger and flower so what is the matter children here and it is flower d option is the correct one why because love emotion anger they are human uh, expressions they are human feelings no so they do not have weight or they do not occupy any space no they do not have molecules in that so that is why flower is our matter. Okay children clear? Now 28th question. Equal amounts of water were taken in four containers in the following manner. Okay like P, Q, R and S. Yes. Okay and in which of the containers will water evaporate the fastest? So you have got four containers in each uh, here. And you have got equal amount of water in all the four containers, okay? And every container is different from its shape. No, see here, uh, here the uh, space, the lid space is more. No, here it is a little uh, less. Again, you have got a wide space, open spaces here for the lids, okay? It is not for the lid, like the opening of the container. It is having much space in these two containers R and S. Yes. So in which of the containers will water evaporate the fastest? Is it in P, Q, R or S? Yes. So will what will be the answer children? Yes, the answer is yes. Why? Because it has got a wide mouth. No, it has got a wide mouth when compared to the other three. As it is having a wide mouth, so the water will be able to evaporate very fastly no because it's uh, the space is more here that is why yes is the answer clear now uh, 29th question children which of the following conversions is correct so here you are having some conversions like uh, like we can say about the conversions of matter okay so which is uh, which conversion is correct here uh, first one is water after heating it is going to change as steam and again steam after e heating as ice. No, this is wrong. No, this is wrong. Again water after cooling it is getting ice and uh, again ice after cooling it is getting steam. Even this is also wrong. Clear? Now steam after cooling it is uh, turning as water and water after cooling it is turning as ice yes this is the correct option whatever water vapor is there after cooling it becomes as water and then if you cool the water it becomes as ice so this is correct so steam after heating it's turning as ice and ice after getting cooled is turning as water no this is also wrong so our correct option is B children. Clear? Now, 30th question. We know that all the substances are made up of small particles and the particles are connected with each other with the force. In which one of the following particles are connected with the greatest force? No, we have learnt that all the substances. No. All the substances, all the materials are made up of small particles. No. 
and these particles where, where we call them as molecules and these particles are connected with each other with a force in which state of matter in which state of matter or in which uh, objects from the following objects there will be the greatest force where these particles are going to get uh, close to each other okay are attracted with the greatest force so is it bricks oil smoke or all of these yes and the answer is bricks children why because brick is a solid state of matter so in solid states you will have very close uh, closely connected particles clear children so a is the answer for this now 31st one in which one of the following molecules atoms of different element are joined together in which of the following molecules atoms of different elements are joined together okay is it of molecules of hydrogen molecules of gold molecules of water molecules of carbon dioxide okay and the answer is molecules of water because molecules of water is what h2o h2o is what that is two hydrogen and one oxygen no so that is why we are having two different atoms of different elements H hydrogen is one element oxygen is of one element so uh, we have this in molecules of water clear yes 32nd question when we cool a substance to a certain temperature state of the substance gets changed okay when we cool a substance to a certain temperature okay substance is nothing but any material when we cool it in on a particular temperature the state of the substance okay the state of the substance is going to get changed if the substance in gas then on cooling it will convert into what okay so the options are solid liquid gas all of these and the answer is children that is liquid okay b is the liquid so if the substance in gas it is a uh, cool gas is nothing but here water vapor no so if the substance that is the water vapor is going to convert into what water again water is what liquid no so that is why b is the correct answer understood children yes now 33rd question which one of the following statements is true so here you have got two substances so you have to name which one is true the first statement is in physical change original substance we can get back is it true children yes in physical change we can get back the original substance like uh, we uh, learned by one experiment like tearing the paper again joining all the pieces of the teared paper no we will get back the shape of the paper again and the paper as it is it will be remaining no so in chemical change original substances we cannot get back is it true yes even this is also true same paper if you burn it it is going to turn as ash no you will not get back the paper so this is the chemical change so where we will not be getting back our substance back so both the statements are true so c is the correct answer clear children now 34th question which one of the following properties is correct for liquid which one of the following properties is correct for liquid no, this we are talking about the properties of liquid okay so what is the property here which is the correct one it has a fixed volume and fixed shape no this is wrong it has fixed volume but not fixed shape yes this is correct so liquid is it has fixed volume now when you measure it and put in one container as 1 liter water it the volume is 1 liter of water okay and again that 1 liter uh, of water if you pouring it to another container which has got different shape 
that one liter water will be the same but the shape of the water is going to change according to the container no according to the container that's what so if this water is poured in this container this water is going to change the shape as this container but the volume remains the same clear children so that is why it does not have a fixed state it has a fixed volume clear so both these are also wrong clear now we will go to the next question 35th question which of the following are properties of sugar properties of sugar here okay so what is that uh, p refines to defines to definite shape q is definite volume uh, r is can be compressed okay so what will be the answer here it uh, sorry what will be the answer here it has got a definite shape it has got a definite volume no it has got a definite shape and it has got a definite volume so only p and q is the answer so we are talking about the sugar sh uh, like uh, sugar uh, uh, as we use it in our kitchen and uh, all that no so that sugar we are talking about so it has got a definite shape and it has got a definite volume clear okay children now the question children Mary filled an empty beaker to the brim with water and dropped some marbles too as shown below. What are the states of substances labeled as X, y, X and Y? See here, this container uh, was filled with some water by Mary and she dropped some marbles in this beaker, okay, in the water, okay. And what is this X? And what is this y here? So, what is this? So, x is what? Like it is water. No. So, x is water. So, x is liquid. And y, what you are seeing here? They are the marbles. So, how is the state of matter of marbles? They are solid. No. They are of solid state. So, that is why x is liquid. And Y is solid. So, B is our answer. Clear children? Now, we will go to the next question. Level 2, that is 37th one. Suman tries to push in the plunger as shown above. But finds that she cannot do so. What is the reason? Okay. So, here uh, Suman tries to push in the plunger as shown below. Like uh, you can see here uh, one type of instrument which we call it as pranger. Suman tries to push like you will be having the injection syringe. No. So saying like that with that she or uh, she wants to push in the plunger. Okay. But finds that she cannot do that. What is the reason? Okay. So reason is water cannot be compressed. Water has no definite shape. Water has no definite uh, volume and water occupies the space okay and the answer is water water cannot be compressed water cannot cannot be compressed okay so here she is uh, trying to just push it up but it is not able to do she is not able to push it why because water cannot be compressed clear children now, here, 38th question, four objects are placed into a measuring cylinder, one at a time and the water level is as shown in the figures below. Okay, the object with the biggest volume is, see here, four objects are placed into a measuring cylinder, one at a time. So, one at a time. Okay, so what happened is, first, uh, you have taken... A, uh, measuring cylinder and you poured water first again you dropped one uh, one uh, object okay and uh, yes you have dropped one object here again you have dropped another object here okay again another object that is three objects are there in the water now and at last you have dropped the four objects here okay so now 
what is the difference you have observing the water was at here at 50 number 50 no the volume was number 50 here so when you dropped it increased to nearby 60 one when you dropped one object when you drop it two objects it went to 80 when you drop it three it went to uh, 90 when you dropped four it crossed I mean 90 that is it is nearby to 100 like 95 or something okay and by this the object with the biggest volume is the object with the biggest volume is what is that yes that is B why because when you dropped B the water level was 80 see the water level was 80 for A it was around uh, something around the 60s here when you dropped B it went to 80 from 60 to 80 that is 20 uh, like uh, nearby 20 there was increase of 20 percent of volume here but when you drop it C from 80 to 99 that is only 10 when you drop it D from 90 to 95 that is only 5 percent no so by this we can understand that the volume the object with the biggest volume was B why because there was much increase in the volume when you dropped this B object understood children so this is how you have to check and go with your answer clear now 39th question which of the following is made up of rubber which of the following is made up of rubber either sole of shoes tire and this is a jacket so this is both a and b a and b what are they sole of shoes and tire so d is the correct answer why because sole of shoes that is the bottom part of your uh, shoes and the tire is made up of they both are made up of rubber clear children now 40th question which of the following shows the arrangement of molecules in liquid which of the following shows the arrangement of molecules in liquid yes is it uh, a is it b is it c or both b and c we are talking about the liquid children here we are talking about the molecules in liquid no how will be they they are not very far away to each other or they are not very close to each other no so that is why our answer is b okay our answer is b clear children now we'll go to the next question 41st one deepak filled a glass to the brim with water uh, then he placed some ice cubes into the glass of water some water overflowed as shown in the diagram below okay brim is to the mouth okay brim is nothing but the edge area okay so deepak what did he do he filled the water to the brim okay till the mouth okay then he just placed some ice cubes into that glass of water and what happened some water overflowed as it is shown here in the picture so why is this why is this happened the observation above shows that the ice cubes what happened to this float on water have mass have no definite volume or occupy space so here the answer is occupy space because the ice cubes are occupying the space the water which was until the brim was not able to stand there and the excess water is flowing down clear children yes now so what is that uh, d is the correct answer here occupies more space clear okay now 42nd question the metal used to make an aircraft must be dash and dash metal which used to make an aircraft aircraft is nothing but an airplane no the body of an airplane is made with the metal okay so how must it be it must be waterproof and heavy or flexible and strong light and strong or hard and shiny and the answer is light and strong 
so light so it must it has it must have a uh, light in weight it must be light in weight and it must be strong also okay why because it has to fly if you are having much weight weight uh, it cannot fly that much easily and because it, it has to carry passengers and it has to uh, deal with this traveling so that it has to tolerate all the weather conditions or climatical conditions about the above the air in the sky so it must be strong also clear so c that is light and strong is the answer clear now 43rd question take some water in a glass and mark the water level by pasting by sorry by posting a strip of water outside the glass as shown below or shown in the figure add two spoons of sugar to water and stir what happens to the water level in the glass okay so again this experiment children you have to take one glass uh, sorry you have to take water in a glass and mark the water level you have to mark the water level so until what level was the water first when you poured it in the glass and now you just add teaspoons of sugar in it two spoons of sugar in it now again you check the water level so it was this much no so now check what will happen to this volume of water okay the water level the volume of the sugar the volume of the sugar solutions remains almost the same as volume of water the volume of the sugar solution decreases in comparison to volume of water sugar does not take up any extra space both a and b okay sorry a and c the answer is both a and c children why because sugar does not take any extra space like ice cubes they were taking some extra space here sugar does not take it another thing is the volume of the sugar solution remains almost as the same as the volume of water so there won't be any change of the water level here clear so both a and c are the answers okay children now 44th question look at the given figure carefully what materials are used to make the parts labeled as r and s okay so this is a car here and uh, this r is nothing but the glass and s is nothing but the what tire no s is tire and tire is made up of what tire is made up of rubber so r is glass s is rubber b is the correct answer clear children 45th question the object in the given figure is made of a combination of dash and dash okay so what is this actually this is a switchboard okay switchboard so with what combination or what materials do we use in making this switchboard do we use plastic and wood or do we use wood and metal or uh, metal and plastic or glass and metal and the answer is metal and plastic okay we are going to use metal and plastic to make a switchboard clear okay that is switchboard in the sense this is like plug point not switchboard exactly it is a plug point okay so we use metal and plastic clear children now 46th question look at the given figures carefully what does it shows so what is here children like a candle which is burning and it is burning burning and it is decreasing its size no it is decreasing as it is uh, burning the wax is melting no so and it the it, the size of the candle is decreasing okay so what can we uh, tell that one form of matter can be changed into another by heating one form of matter can be changed into another by cooling forms of matters are not interchangeable or d that is both a and b and the answer is 
A and B. Why? Because one form of matter can be changed into another by heating. No, because we have uh, lighted the candle, it is uh, heated and the change, the change, see, from uh, it's going to happen by heating. Okay. The form of the matter can be changed into another by heating. Now, another one is B. One form of matter can be changed into another by cooling. When it was heating, it was producing the this uh, wax, liquid type of wax. After getting cooled, we have got a solid type of wax here. No. So, it can change the uh, shape or it can change the form of the matter into another by cooling also. By heating or by cooling, both ways we can change the form of the matter. Clear? So, that is why both A and B are correct here. Clear children? Now, 47th question. Identify the object which is made up of plastic. So, what you are having here? You have got a key, you have got an eraser, you have got a chair and you have got both B and C. So, what is made up with plastic? So, yes, it is what? The chair. Okay. So, chair is made up of plastic, whereas this is of metal, key, eraser is of rubber. Clear children? C is our answer. Now, 48th question, most of the metals, so how are they? Are they hard? Are good conductors of electricity? Have luster? All of these. So, and the answer is, have all of these. These like they are very hard, they are good conductors of electricity and they have luster. Okay. So, all of this is the correct answer. Now, 49th question. Which property is true for a solid? Properties of a solid. Okay. Properties of a solid children. Sorry. So, it is, it takes the shape of its container. It flows downward but not upward. It has a definite shape. It has no definite volume. And the answer is, it has a definite shape. Okay. It will not take the shape of any container. If you if you take jaggery, if you put jaggery in a, a round container also, the shape of the jaggery will be the same. If you put it in a vertical container also, it will be the same. No, that is a solid stone, brick, whatever it is there. Okay. So, it has a definite shape. So, C is the correct answer. Now, 50th question and the last question for today's chapter, children. The given figure shows a rattle for a baby. Which of the following materials should it be made of? Rattle. No, no. We'll just uh, give this rattle to entertain a baby where you will get some uh, sounds where the ba uh, baby feels very, uh, uh, um, like, uh, it's very happy. Okay. So, which of the following materials should it made of? Is it plastic, metal, glass or wood? So, which material will be used children? We will use plastic. No, this material will be the plastic. Okay. So, this is the answer children. So, hope you have understood all the question and answers of this lesson. So, so we will be concluding here. We will be continuing with the new lesson in the coming session. So, take care, goodbye and stay well. Please visit our website www.aimstoday.in for other information regarding online classes, quizzes, live worksheets, DIY activities, English classes and coding. Thank you for watching our video. Please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for receiving latest updates.